I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, colonic polyps. So a polyp is a protuberance or a growth within uh, the large intestine and we think polyps are uh, responsible for about 90% of bowel cancers. So the majority of bowel cancer begins its life as a colonic polyp. And this is where the importance of having a high quality colonoscopy comes in, where we can identify these polyps within the bowel and resect them. And by doing that, um, we essentially uh, reduce the risk of bowel cancer. Colonic polyps are some of the commonest things that we find on colonoscopy, which is an examination of the large intestine on the inside. Um, this is the instrument that we use. So this instrument is a colonoscope, which is a flexible fiber optic instrument with a camera built in and a working channel within it. The aim is to go inside the large intestine when the patient is fully asleep with the anesthetic and we try and identify different types of pathologies such as colonic polyps. When we identify a polyp, we can pass a snare device through the working channel of the colonoscope and resect that polyp. And this is the main advantage of having a colonoscopy, where once we resect the polyp, we essentially reduce your risk of bowel cancer. Most colonic polyps don't actually produce symptoms, and so a lot of patients are not aware that they have colonic polyps. Sometimes patients may present with positive screening stool tests such as the National Bowel Cancer Screening Program and this essentially detects microscopic amounts of blood. So some polyps can ulcerate and bleed and will lead to a positive stool test. And that's why it is very important to follow up with such tests and have a colonoscopy, thereby diagnosing these polyps and essentially reducing the risk of bowel cancer. If you have found that you are suffering from any of the symptoms that I have mentioned, then please see your GP for a referral and make an appointment to see me in my rooms and we can discuss your management options further.